Under the fluorescent lights of a Russian aircraft hangar, engineers move methodically around a sleek angular frame. The dark gray body glistens with freshly machined panels, its shape carefully designed to absorb radar waves. This is not just another aircraft, it's the Su-75 Checkmate, Russia's long-promised single-engine stealth fighter. And now, after years of speculation, Moscow says it's finally moving from design to production. But what makes the Su-75 such a big deal? Why is this jet attracting so much global attention? And could it really rival Western fifth-generation fighters like the F-35? Let's take a closer look. According to multiple reports from Russian and international defense outlets, United Aircraft Corporation under Sukhoi has already begun assembling the first prototype of the Su-75 at its production facility in Komsomolsk on Amur, the same plant responsible for building Russia's S-57 Felon fighters. The company aims to roll out its first full prototype within 2025, followed by flight testing soon after. The project, known internally as Checkmate, was first unveiled in 2021 as a lighter, more affordable counterpart to the twin-engine Su-57. Since then, Russia has promoted the jet as an export-oriented fifth-generation fighter aimed at countries that cannot afford Western stealth jets. Unlike its predecessors, the Su-75 features a single-engine layout, a compact airframe, and an internal weapons bay to maintain stealth capability. It is designed for both air superiority and strike missions, with an emphasis on reduced radar cross-section and high maneuverability. According to early specifications, it can reach speeds of up to Mach 1.8 and carry advanced guided missiles similar to those used on the Su-57. Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate Rostec claims the aircraft will include advanced avionics, artificial intelligence-assisted targeting, and cost-efficient maintenance, making it a more accessible stealth platform. The target price? Around $25 to $30 million per unit, significantly cheaper than Western fifth-generation jets, which can exceed $80 million. If the plan moves forward, Russia's defense industry could begin limited series production as early as 2026 or 2027. For a nation currently facing economic pressure and sanctions, the Su-75 project represents not only a technological milestone, but also a message. Russia is still capable of innovation under strain. At first glance, the Su-75 looks like a smaller sibling of the Su-57 Felon. Both aircraft share stealth-oriented designs, angular contours, and internal weapon bays. But beneath the surface, their missions and philosophies differ. The Su-57 is a heavy, twin-engine, multi-role fighter built for air dominance. It carries large payloads, operates at long range, and features thrust vectoring engines for extreme maneuverability. It's designed to compete with the US F-22 Raptor and to act as Russia's top-tier air superiority platform. The Su-75, however, aims to fill a different role, something between affordability and advanced technology. It's smaller, lighter, and powered by a single Isdelier 30 engine the same model intended for upgraded Su-57 variants. This design choice dramatically cuts costs and simplifies production. The Su-75's lighter frame and modular systems also make it easier to maintain and export to foreign partners. Rostec officials emphasize that the jet will integrate many technologies derived from the Su-57 stealth coating materials, flight control algorithms, and radar absorbent structures, but in a simplified package, it's meant to offer stealth capabilities without the massive financial and logistical demands of twin-engine fighters. However, the key question remains, will the Su-75's promises match its performance? From the start, Russia has marketed the Su-75 as a direct competitor to the US F-35 Lightning II, a bold claim given the F-35's advanced production ecosystem and decades of combat data. But analysts say that the Su-75's potential lies in its strategic positioning rather than direct competition. 
If delivered as promised, the Checkmate could become the world's first low-cost stealth fighter. With advanced artificial intelligence targeting and export-ready modular systems, that combination could attract interest from nations like the United Arab Emirates, Vietnam, India, or African states seeking an affordable fifth-generation option without Western political constraints. Still, Western analysts remain cautious. Russia's defense industry faces severe economic sanctions, limited access to advanced microelectronics, and logistical disruptions due to the ongoing war in Ukraine. These factors could delay production or reduce the aircraft's sophistication. However, even a partial success could reshape the market. A functional, exportable Su-75 would allow Russia to regain influence in regions where it has lost ground to Western and Chinese arms suppliers. It could also push competitors to reconsider their pricing and technology-sharing strategies, sparking a new round of global arms competition. From a technical perspective, the Su-75's design suggests a focus on stealth efficiency over raw power. Its single-engine configuration means less thrust and shorter range than the Su-57 or F-35, but it also reduces maintenance costs and radar visibility. The jet's internal weapon bays and compact air intake design further improve stealth characteristics, while its digital cockpit and AI co-pilot system could give pilots advanced situational awareness in complex combat environments. Ultimately, whether the Su-75 can leave Western jets behind depends on its ability to move from concept to production and to deliver on its technological promises. This fighter jet emergence comes at a time when Russia's defense industry is under intense scrutiny and pressure. Launching production of a new stealth fighter signals more than just military ambition. It's a geopolitical statement. For Moscow, the checkmate symbolizes resilience. It shows that despite sanctions, isolation, and the strain of prolonged war, the Russian military-industrial complex can still produce cutting-edge technology. Domestically, it serves as a morale booster and a showcase of self-reliance. Internationally, it could reorient Russia's defense diplomacy. If the Su-75 achieves export readiness, it might open new defense partnerships with countries outside NATO sphere, particularly those in Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America. This would expand Moscow's influence and counterbalance Western arms exports in emerging markets. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.